Okay, welcome to episode 8 of One Look Mega Mix OL. Today we're going to be covering sets 10, 11, and 16. Um, this is 12 cases altogether, and I guess they make up what I'd call the weird shapes or something, because these sets are the ones that I think look most dissimilar to um, 3x3 OLLs. So the recognition is all pretty different, and none of the OGs are 3x3 transfers, but they're all, you know, reasonably nice, which is why they're still sort of in the middle of the pack here, rather than near the end of the series. Um, so, as always, all of the OGs that I mentioned will be listed down in the description, as well as links to an OLL trainer and my Megaminx OGs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLL OGs that I use and recommend. So that out of the way, let's get into it. So first up we have set 16, which I recognize as being this kind of C shape, with like an extra edge sticking out, right? So pretty simple. Um, and as far as differentiating between these goes, for the plus and minus cases, they're of course mirrors, right? So the plus cases have this edge on the left, and the minus cases have it on the right. And then for the A and B cases, we're looking at the position of this bar, right? So with the A cases, it's across from the edge, right? Whereas in the B cases, it's adjacent to the edge. So pretty straightforward, but maybe a little bit different to what you're used to in terms of um, recognizing the position of this bar. So it might take some time to get fast at it, but it's, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, Anyway, for 16A plus here, this algorithm should be really easy to learn. It's just from this angle, with these two corners in the front, and it looks like this. R prime F R, soon, R prime F prime R. Right? So no real fancy finger tricks or anything, just a three move set up to an algorithm you already know. So a pretty nice case. The second one here, 16A minus, there's I guess two options. The first option is that you can do the back mirror of the previous algorithm. So that would be from this angle here, with the uh, oriented corners in the back right, and it would look like this. R, B, R prime, R prime. Back soon, R, B, R, R prime, right? Just like that. So this algorithm is okay, but I find it to be a little bit inconsistent and a little bit slower than my main alg. Um, so the alg I'd recommend for most people is actually from this angle, with the corners in the right. And it looks like this. R prime, U2 prime, sledge, R U prime with your left middle, R prime U two prime R, just like that. So, like I said, I find that to be a little bit better, but I guess try both of them out because I know the back mirror works better for some people. Um, anyway, for sixteen B plus here, there's really just one option that I think is good, which is um, from the angle with the corners in the back right, and looks like this: F R U two with your left index, R prime U prime, hedge u prime f prime right just like that so that left index u2 is the only really noteworthy thing trick there the rest of it's pretty simple and it's a decent case not amazing but it's good enough anyway for this last one here 16b minus there's two algs that i think are basically equally good so i guess try both of them out and if one's better for you use that or otherwise just pick one at random all in both of them which is what i do um because they're different angles so anyway, the first one is from this angle here, with the corners in the back left, and it looks like this. R prime, U prime, R, U prime, with left middle, then R prime, F inverse sexy, F prime, then U two, R, right? And for that inverse sexy, the first move that I do with a ring drag, like that. Just like that. So it's a pretty nice case. Um, and the second option, um, is from this angle with the oriented corners on the right, and it looks like this: R prime F prime U two prime F U prime, then R U R prime U two with the left index R. So we push that F prime with our index finger, and then drag that U two with your left index finger, right? So yeah, whichever one of those works better for you is fine. And then next up we have set 10. So this, this looks quite similar to set 16, except this time we have an extra oriented corner here. So we end up with this sort of long line of oriented pieces that I think makes this quite a distinctive looking set, but it's of course um, still very different from anything on 3x3. So I'd still consider it you know, a weird shape as I explained at the start. Um, anyway, differentiating between these cases is super easy. The plus and minus cases are mirrors as always. And then the B cases have these bars, whereas the A cases have no bars. So pretty straightforward. As for algorithms, um, there's only really one algorithm I recommend, for, I recommend for any of these cases, unlike with set 16, where there were you know options for a few of them. Um, so for 10A plus here, we're gonna hold the headlights in the back right, and then do this alg. 
are you r prime u2 are you prime r prime u2 prime sledge right just like that so no real fancy finger tricks and just you know combinations of very basic ruf triggers so it should be super easy to learn um, that's actually true for a bunch of these they're generally just pretty easy ruf stuff anyway for 10a minus here we're going to hold the headlights in the back right again and then do this elk r prime f prime u prime f u2 prime r u r prime u2 r this alg you can actually think about intuitively um, if that helps so essentially we're doing a smart version of two look where we choose our eo and co algs such that they cancel together um, to come up with the alg that i just showed so from this angle for this eo you can do it like r prime f prime u prime f u r and then for the co from this angle you can do it like r prime u2 r u r prime u2 r and if you do those algs they cancel together to come up with that alg that i just showed so if that helps you learn it, that's great. If not, it's just a reasonably short algorithm, so it shouldn't be too hard to learn anyway. And done a bit faster, it looks like that. For 10B plus here, this is again just very basic RUF triggers. So we're going to hold the block in the front left like that, and then do this. R U prime R prime, U2 prime, sledge, U2 R U R prime, right? So... <laughs> So just like that. So no real fancy um, turning or anything, just basic IUF stuff. And then finally we have 10B minus, which we're going to do from this angle. So block in the back left, and this one looks like this. R, U2, R prime, U2 with our left index. Then U, sledge, R, U2, R prime with our left index again. So like that. So just pretty basic IUF stuff. And then finally we have set 11. So just like before, this is basically the same as set 16 in recognition, just plus an extra corner here, right? Um, so this time it's over here forming this top pattern rather than being over here and forming that like line of oriented pieces like it did with um, set 10. So that's how you tell it set 11 and then differentiating between these cases is identical to set 10. So the plus and minus cases are mirrors as always and the B cases have bars and the A cases don't. Here I've got the B cases in front, just because I'm going to show you the Alex for those first, just because they're slightly nicer. But um, yeah, B with bars, A without. As for the algorithms, this first one here, 11B+, plus, is just from this angle, with the bar on the right, and looks like this. Thumb on top to start with, and then R prime, U2 prime, sledge, R, U, R prime, U, R. Just like that. So just super short, super basic turning, probably the best case I've shown all video. Um, it's very nice. The second one here, 11B plus, sorry, 11B minus, we do from this angle with the bar on the left-hand side, and it looks like this. R, U2 prime, R prime, U prime, sledge, U, R, U2, R prime. So that final U2 with our left index finger is the only, like, non-super basic turning out of those, but it's still, you know, um, just very basic RUF triggers. So just like most of set 10, so it should be super easy to learn because of that. Um, and then finally we have the 11A cases. So 11A plus here, we do from this angle, the oriented pieces in the back left, and the alg looks like this. R prime, U prime, F prime, U prime, with our middle finger, F, and then R2, U, R2 prime, U, R2, U2 prime, R prime, right? Just like that. So not quite as nice as the B cases were, but still uh, good enough. And then finally we have 11A minus. So for this case there's two options. Um, the one that's probably actually the best, but not what I use, is from this angle, right? So I'll hold the oriented corners in the front and do L, R prime, F, sexy, F prime, L prime, U, R. So I say this is the nicest just because it's, just because it's like by, by far the shortest L for this case. And I've seen people do it super fast, um, but I'm not amazing at it personally, right? So... For me, it's not quite the fastest alg just yet, but once I'm practicing it more, I'm sure it will be. Um, but I think like probably farming and other people with fast turning would use this as the main alg. But anyway, if you're not amazing at it, um, or not great at it yet, there's an RUF option, which you can do from this angle, right? Which looks like this. R, U2, R prime, U, R prime, F prime, U prime, F, U, R2, U2, R prime. So it's essentially just four moves and then setting up into that sort of 
EO alg that I showed in the intuitive explanation for that set 10 case before, and then our U2 R prime. Right? Just like that. There you go. So that's today's video.